What's going on, my people, on this beautiful morning? Look, today in this video, I had did a little high taper on the side. Little bro had to um, shag in the back. I might have to grow one out, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I had did all that. Waves just popping in the shine today. You feel me? Looking good. But now nah, this video, it's a dope ass video. Cut came out clean, nice, and hope y'all enjoyed it. But before we get to this cut, somebody said they wanted to see my setup. I just came back from sellers. I had to buy this um this shaver because my other one broke. And let's get into it. All right, look, so this is how we got it. We got the electric shaver right here. I just bought this one. This one has to go in the trash. Piece of shit. All right, first thing first, we got the Omnicore aligners. These is custom made. I bought them on Omnicore.com. If you want these, go in there. They got cordless, but I wanted these ones because I like the motor on these with the cords. And then we have the Babulous Gold, Babulous Rose Gold Pro FX. I like these. I use these to line people up. I use these to bald people out. These work wonders. I don't know if you can see it. This is a couple of days old, but this is what they doing for us. And then we got the Babylon Pro Rose Gold Clippers right here. These are the ones I use to hand out blessings. And then I just got all my guards down here. We got my blow dryer, shears, combs, razor. We got the um, airbrush right there. And then we got clips, more guards, styling combs, my duster, stuff like that. And then these drawers, this is a, we got all this, whole bunch of extra stuff. We got a whole bunch of extra stuff and a whole bunch of extra stuff. And then we got these new things. These, these things is beautiful, the finales, you know. I just bought these. I want to see how these work today. But let's get this one on. This how I go. I'm cutting up heads and I'm bringing them dough. I'm chilling with Uncle, my big nigga Mo. We throwing a fab and that's on the mo. We shooting some dice and we rolling some weed. I'm chasing the bag, gotta go get that grin. You fucking with me, man, you fuck with my team. I pull out a 9 and say T buff, don't squeeze. Hey, yo, Ren, turn that up. Fuck a red light. I don't wanna stop right now. Alright, look, first thing you want to do to start this cut off is to comb it out so when you cut, everything can cut evenly. You want to make sure you take your time and make sure you comb through all the hairs and make sure you pick up all the hairs off the scalp. Don't rush through it, make sure you just sit there and take your time. Look, you want to make sure you pick out his shag too, because when you come in with that two guard, you're going to want that two guard to blend into his shag, you feel me? All right, now you finna come in with your two guard open. I start from the crown and go around his whole head. When I get to that shag, I'ma flick out so I won't dig deep into that shag. Look, y'all, keep in mind, you gon' have to go over his head a couple times with that two guard open. You can't just go over it one time, because that one time ain't gon' get the job done, you feel me? You wanna just keep going and keep knocking all the hair down, because all that hair is gon' continue to feed into the teeth of that blade. Go over it multiple times, make sure you knock down all the bulk, and don't just go over it one time, make sure you clean them all up. Alright, look, now with the first step, you want to brush them hairs down, come in with your liners and make that ball guideline. With the ball guideline, I'm going to go in as a rainbow-like shape, so if you get a taper, a better transition. We'll be in the chop right now, she'll get a top right now. Fuck a red light, running through the red lights and all the stop signs, trying to get the bread right for me and my guys, trying to get the bread right. Look, now you finna come in with that shaver and make sure you bald everything else so it can be skin bald. Like always, make sure you brush the hairs down before you start cutting. First thing you want to do is you want to go in with your lever open and go up about an inch. Once you get to that inch, make sure you click out the top so when you come in with your next guard, everything can blend in smooth. There's a lot of people out there that like to take their ball guideline out last, but with me, I like to do it first because it makes the cut faster and it makes it easier to blend everything else out. 
every time you go up please make sure you open and close your lever because if you don't you're gonna make a harsh guideline that's gonna make it harder to blend everything else in if that lever closed don't take that ball guideline out just go over with the corner of your aligners and it should take it out Next thing you want to do is you want to go in with that lever open and make sure you go up about half an inch. Once you get to that half an inch, flick out the top so when you come in with your next guard, everything can blend in smooth. Going in with the one guard closed, I'm going to flick out that middle line between the lever open and the one so when I come behind it with the zero, everything can blend in smooth. With the zero guard closed, I'm gonna take out that middle line. Every time you go up, make sure you open and close your lever so you can have a clean transition. You gave me chance after chances. I kept it fire romantic, but it just wasn't our time. Using the corner of my lever open, I'm gonna just take out anything that the zero guard didn't. Just move on and forget it, but we'll be wasting our time. We'll be wasting our time. With the two guard open, I'm gonna just clean up everything on the top. No more dealing with feelings. I left that shit on the table because I can't trust With the 1.5 open, I'ma just clean it between the one and the two. Now with the detail work, I'ma just throw some guards on and clean up any bug that I can see. And you wanna make sure that you constantly use the corner of your blade. Exact same steps as the other side, so I'ma just speed this up for you. Can you just give me a chance? Let me say what I can. We can figure it out. Can we try it again? Can we try to be friends? Can you tell me now? Won't let it happen again. Won't let it happen again. Too much time was wasted. Basically, I don't hate you. I'm working on self healing. My money stacking like Tetris.
Now I'm gonna dust all the hair off his face and then I'm gonna spray his hair down with spritz and what the spritz does is it locks all the hair in place. Make sure you brush all the hair down so you can stretch it as much as you can. Now you wanna go on with your blow dryer so you can dry it all up. When it comes to the lineup, make sure his head is straight, make sure your hands are steady, make sure you take your time, and please make sure you don't push his hairline back. If you're gonna use enhancements, please don't be that barber that uses too much of it and please don't be that barber that uses it to fix mistakes because that is not what it's used for. It is used to fix light spots and please just use it for what it's used for. You only walk to follow niggas who follow niggas. Uh, Bibbing the niggas behind your back that be talking about. Damn. I keep a player no matter, keeping the savage. Go up on 84 Weezy and watching Randy Savage eating cabbage. I'm crunching and doing backwards. Passive. Don't get it twisted because I am active. I'm ratchet. Clucking these niggas, then get a soda from McDonald's. I'll be mobbing and creeping. I need a lick up on the I right, look when using a razor, please make sure you lay your client back in that chair. Please make sure you stretch his skin out and please hold the blade at a 45 degree angle so you will not cut him. Hold up and let me spit it. Got niggas in the prison, they fight like a they got a sticky nigga to stick and remind me when I was sitting for the shit that I committed was living like animals. I'm a motherfucking gorilla, little nigga. I don't play that. Boy, you walking too close, better get back. I've been trying to lay low, trying to smoke my smoke. If a nigga won't smoke, he can get that. You don't want no problem, boy, get back. I've been trying to be cool on the layback. You be doing too much, nothing with that. Boy, you doing too much, need to get back. Sip your red right, the old head right, and that's law. You got a problem, come say it to me. Don't pillow talk to no bra. Stay in your lane and stay in your place, and that's all. That's all. I'm the one that you should fear tonight. When lining up the back, spray that spritz down, comb it out so you can stretch everything and lay it down. Stack up on all of my hustles, I run to the money like I'm Herschel Walker. I went to Dallas, I'm copping the Mavericks, I keep me a pace. Go in with that blow jar and make sure everything is dry. Start that line and please make sure that boy is looking nice. So you can knock down all the little frizzy hairs on the top end so you can blend the shag into the two gold. This is how you separate yourself from the average barber because not every barber does this. You want to be different. You want to be different from everybody else. You want somebody to look at your cut and be like, hey, who cut your hair? You feel me? You want to you wanna stand out from everybody else. I'm the one that you should fear Nike's your life ain't even worth a pair of Nike's on This is the cut. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and please hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to get videos out to y'all as soon as possible. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. I'm out of here.